I am back. I still hate the sound of my voice, but I'm still going to record it anyway. So today we're going to look at some more intensive stretches and stretches that work more towards your active flexibility, um, which is for more dynamic moves, more holding your own legs and things. Um, we're going to revisit some of the moves in the last video and just make them a little more complicated. And yeah, I'll just start the video and go from there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just some leg stretches and you're just going to be able to go wherever you can, uh, where you can manage, where you can take your leg to. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie down on our backs, leg, one leg up and one leg straight. And then what we're going to do is from the knee, come forward and do some leg raises. On about your fifth leg raise, we're going to come in and hold to where you can hold. Then we're going to come, take your hand off and see how you can hold it. Come back in, leg raises again. Try and fetch it in a little bit closer this time. Let go. Hold it. One more time. Leg raise in. Then you really pull it to where you can this time. Good. So next, and not forgetting that we're going to do this on both sides again. I did mention that in my previous video. I just don't have the time to do both sides. Too much going on. Right, so we're going to fetch in our knees. Cross opposite leg over. Put your hands behind. And just gently pull towards your chest. You're going to feel this right in the opposite leg, in the hamstring. And back down. Next, we're going to be straddling, which is basically just sitting as far as your legs will allow. Hands to the sides. And raise for three. Opposite leg. Both legs together. And back here. Next, like in our previous video, we're going to come round and go into frog. I'm going to turn away from the video, so you'll hear me talking, but you won't see me. So as wide as you can, keep your legs in line with your ankles and your hips. Feet out. And push. out for a second. Again, back in. Try and get a little bit lower this time. And then a little trick to try and open up your hips a little bit more is a hip and leg rotation. This should fetch you on your final push down a little bit further. Yeah. 
this is a really intense stretch so it's gonna hurt quite a lot on the top of the thighs in the hamstrings in your glutes everywhere <laughs> but it is worth it so from there now we've warmed up a little bit we've not gone over anything in too much depth but I just want to show you a couple of poses I'm just going to remove my jumper because it's quite warm and I need to film this before it starts raining sit forward, leg forward, one leg on the floor, grab from our ankle, again you're only going to be able to take that back as far as you can but it looks so nice in photographs in yoga poses in little mini photo shoots and another one we're just going to come to our leg hold on to a wall if you've got it the better you stretch the better your lines are going to be the straighter your splits are going to look just another couple of moves um, also great hip openers for if you are training both side splits which you definitely should be training both side splits so we're, I'm going to come into my strongest side split first and I shouldn't have a stronger side because I should always be training both sides but I learnt later on in life on this one so come into your split so if you have your, this is only for one if you have your full splits actually. We get our hands, we take them to the front. Again, hand over. That's really gonna open up your hips a lot. But and there will be a little bit of pain, but it is so good for gaining both sides. And it looks impressive if you're doing a routine. Um, as you've seen in my previous videos, I do pole dancing, so all this comes into play. All these stretches are really good for my hobby. So, another one, which you'll see me do a lot in my videos, is just a split. You're going to grab your back leg, and just go wherever you can with them. Stretch it right in. leg underneath, thigh here, and there we have it, not too over complicated but like I said you will need your full splits for a lot of these and they are great hip openers and great additions to your flexibility journey. That's all that you're getting from me today and Hopefully I'll make another video soon, but we will see. This voice of mine. <laughs> Bye!